you or whoever you want to send it to. So I went back one too many, but you can from that right before the report screen, you can just enter into any of those. So data stream on this. Let me get a few things pulled up and then I'll come back once I have that set up. All right, so I've just gone through and picked out six, not totally random, but six different uh, things to look at. You can tell how many you've picked and the total number of PIDs available. So I've seen that be as high as 330 on another vehicle. So this will have as many things, as many options as the car has, it will have. And so I'll go ahead and open that. Of course, you can look at that through text. You can do a just view all of this with your text, long term, short term, engine speed, all that. And so, of course, this would be handy for if you want to watch short term fuel trim, long term fuel trim uh, as your engine, engine speed. So, let's say we want to see some of that. Uh, let's see here. So, we can graph all of that at one time uh, and we can see how they're changing over time here. We can also take off. some of these and then get a little bit a little bit less information on the screen uh, another feature of this that's it's been pretty common across a lot of these uh, launch tools but it's actually pretty handy so if I get if I get a lot of information and I want to see just a small amount or I'm sorry a larger time scale uh, I can pinch zoom pinch zoom out or I can get real close so that's been really cool and then of course like I say you can add or subtract yeah so you can you can play with that and address different things at the same time as far as different uh, if you want to look at multiple things you can you can put a bunch of things on the screen and see those and this graphing on this is pretty well done uh, the the Color coding is really good. Of course, they've made the numbering larger, made that a whole lot easier to read. 